Hi everyone. I just purchased a Samlex Power SCC1235M, where the M stands for meters, because they have another version without the meters. Uh, 12 for 12 volt power, uh, and then 35 for 35 uh, amps, the most that it can provide. So this is a power supply for the for my new radio that I have, the FT991A. And the strange things <laughs> that you learn in ham radio, the radios are powered by DC power, like many devices, uh, believe it or not. But inside the radio, there isn't a way to convert the power from your wall um, to the power that the radio needs so you need one of these so you can you can think of this almost as the power that's coming out from the wall and changing this will change it to a power like a battery um, and so that's that's pretty fascinating thing that I didn't know about radios um, you know I thought you just plug them in but you don't and that's because also when you go in the field somewhere somewhere like uh, the lake or the park, um, there are no plugs. So you run your radio radio via the battery. Okay, uh, it's, it's really, really hefty. Um, it, it, does, uh, it does have a nice weight to it. It has uh, vents on the side so that the hot air can come out. It also has a fan if it needs it to make it cooler. It has these wonderful feet. That's really nice. So that it gives it some space for the hair. I guess the air to come out or come in. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure how this fan is. Maybe probably throwing out the air. Um, comes in a beautiful box. Very compact and, and very hefty. Um, pretty, very secure. It has a switch. That sounds really nice and hefty. Wow, that's really nice. It also comes with a nice uh, power cord. Very, very hefty uh, and very long too. Mm, not one of those short ones. It has a lot of length. And you do connect it to the wall. And then it has these connections in the back. This one's red and that one's black. I know this is black and white. Uh, but this one is red and this one's black so that you can put your uh, radio in there with well, the wires. It comes with these leads and these warm uh, screws. See that? So the leads are used. See, the radio comes with these, these uh, wires and then you can put these leads and then crimp it you can crimp it of course you should cut the wire make sure it's nice and you probably want to solder it or else it's going to flap a lot and then after you do that you could technically put it in here so there's a screw in here too there's an additional two more screws in there you unscrew that and then you can put this lead in there with the wire. What I'm probably going to do is uh, get some other get some other wire. Um, put those put, put those wires in here then put it into the a power supply. And then the other side, I'm going to have these things called a, an Anderson power pole. I'll try to do a video. There are wonderful videos out there right now on how to do that. I'm going to create my own video, show you guys. Um, and then those Anderson power poles. Um, I'll do Anderson power poles on these as well. And then I can connect them really nicely because I don't want to solder this here on this one. This one's for the Yesu. Uh, it has a special plug too. It's pretty neat, isn't it? All right. Thank you very much. And be safe. Bye-bye.